Hey guys, Decaf13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Conception Plus. In the last episode, we completed the Cancer Star Labyrinth, and a uh, bunch, bunch more story stuff happened afterward. Uh, impurities are seemingly coming up from the Labyrinth now and attacking people in Granvania uh, because of the earthquakes. So, gotta do something about that. Um, oh, and it turns out, what we're doing isn't actually stopping more impurities from showing up. According to Narcissus and Murray, uh we are absorbing the impurities with the star offerings we're placing, but more are still coming up. They don't know what's going on. No one does, apparently. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, so off screen, I went and got a couple of the heroines up to the next bond level. So, we can do their class meeting events now. So, uh, you know, the usual five I do first. Ari, Rione, Ruka, Femiruna, and Mahiru. So, we'll start with Ari. That reminds me, I got a... I thought I got a different Matryoshka off screen. Oh, I do have a light. Oh, Star Matryoshka. Gives the newborn a boost and raises the heroine's mood. I have four of those? I might need to use that on Ruka because she was very angry with me. <laughs> she wasn't too pleased with me. Uh, Ari, can we do the class mating ritual? Yes. Oh, of course. Are you okay? Are you alright? Huh? Huh? You look a little pale. It's fine. I'm fine. Please, just give me some time to pray. Forgive me, my lord. My lord. Have mercy on me. <sighs> Thank you for waiting, John. I'm all right now. Let's proceed with the class meeting ritual. Uh, Ari, this has been on my mind for a while. I think I should stop asking you to do the ritual. Uh, huh? You don't really seem into. You don't really seem into it. So it would be better to go to the other star maidens. No. It's not that I don't want to. This is my duty as a Star Maiden. Mm -hmm. But I... I'm thinking the right answer is I don't like forcing others. I want to save that one. I still haven't gone back and done the dance with Narcissus and see what that does. Oh. I guess it's I feel bad for you then. I feel bad for you. Uh, huh? You feel bad? For me? I don't like making you feel down just because it's your duty. No. No, John. I must assist you as a star maiden. There's no need for you to feel bad about that. Then why do you always look so sad during the ritual? That's... Well, that's because... Ari. Ari, I'll be honest. I want to return to my world. And I need you and I need your help to do that. I want to make strong star children with you. Huh? Oh. But we shouldn't do this if you're forcing yourself. It's for both our sakes. That's not right. That's not it, John. What's not it? You can't deny that you look sad every time. That's not true. I understand. Very well, John. Please. This time Will you hear me out during the ritual? I'm relieved. I'm happy to hear your honest thoughts about this matter. So I too will... I'll tell you my true feelings. Ari. Please. Don't say anything. Just this once. Fine. All right. Shit, twins! Oh yes, we got some new classes unlocked. Well, two new classes, but still. We got the Magic Knight, and we got Rangers. Oh shit, there's a ninja. Well, since we can make a ranger, we might as well. 
this one will be Garnet. Let's make... Eh, screw it, two rangers. Dominic. Hey, mood up with Ari. Okay. Ari, are you alright? Yes. I'm fine. Will you tell me your true feelings now? Yes. The class meeting ritual is a duty given to me by the Star God. I have every intention of fulfilling my duty for as long as I live. But... But during our first ritual, I... <gasps> I felt very... Very? <sighs> John, must I really say it? You said you'd tell me how you truly felt. But... That's true, but... <sighs> we can't continue unless you tell me. How do you really feel, Ari? I understand. Alright. When we first did the ritual, I felt... <gasps> I felt really good. Huh? Felt... Good? Yes. Y yes. A great feeling of fulfillment spread throughout my entire body. I felt immense pleasure from the bottom of my heart. It made me feel like I was doing something sinful. Let's see... I guess there's nothing sinful about it. There's nothing sinful about it. Is that right? I still become very nervous during the ritual. But you say you accept it because it's your duty as a Star Maiden. But... I shouldn't be tempted by sin in my duty. It's better than feeling pain. Maybe the Star God wanted to make it easier for you. I'm a failure no. as a Star Maiden. Please... Don't tell anyone this. Fine. Your secret is safe with me. Yes. It's a promise, then. I trust your word, John. This is how I really feel. What should I do now? Do you really need to put so much thought into it? But... But I disregarded my duty and became excited about class meeting with you. Ari, you're always so serious. I'm just happy to know you don't dislike the ritual. But are you going to continue put punishing yourself over it? I can't help it if I continue helping you as a Star Maiden. Then how about we have a change of pace? Huh? Let's forget about the ritual and our duties and just go out and enjoy ourselves. If you can lighten up a little that way, that'll make me happy. Thank you. John, you're too kind. I understand. Alright, then let's go out the next time we meet. We should have a nice picnic if the weather is- We should have a picnic if the weather is nice. Can't wait. Yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> I'll finish my church services early and make some lunch for us. I will be looking forward to our date. Oh, I really like Ari. All right. And there's actually a chance for twins with Riona, so let's go with her next. Riona. Let's do the ritual today, Riona. Sure. Of course. I'm happy you picked me again. Mm. But are you sure? There are so many other cute girls to choose from. I want you. I want you, Rione. Oh? Oh? Now why's that? Do tell. Do you mind? That's... It's because... Let's see. Maybe I learned so much from you? Yup. I learned so much from you. That makes me happy. I like teaching the youngins, but sometimes, but I become too naggy sometimes. I'm glad you don't mind that. It makes me want to teach you even more. Shall we start then? Anytime. You're becoming bolder with this, John. Can I let you take the lead today? Sure. 
Wouldn't feel right if you took the lead all the time. All right. I'll lead us all the way to the end today. You sound so reliable. I'll do as you say, then. You better satisfy me. All right. I'm beginning to learn your habits, so I think I'll do fine. My habits? Even I don't know, all, know them all that well. You sound so confident. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it now. Now, let's begin. Yeah, more twins. Let's see. Let's make a paladin. L. And then I want to I want to make a magician too. Yeah, Chris. Special ones. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thousand G. <sighs> you are amazing today. You really are a man after all. <sighs> Is that supposed to be a compliment? Of course. It's like I'm watching you grow before my very eyes. You seem to be you seem to be different from the other gods' gifts. You're filled with an unprecedented amount of star energy. I can't really tell myself. <laughs> well, you do have to deal with all 12 of the star maidens. It means you have the vitality to do so. I better make sure I'm able to receive your emotions as well. Right. Yeah. I'll ask for your help again. Yes. I'll work hard so I can keep up with your growth potential. You were really good today. You pass again with flying colors. <laughs> Alright. Next up is Mahiru. Mahiru. Mahiru, let's do the class mating ritual. Oh, hold on! There's something I want to talk about before that. I learned some ominous things about the class mating ritual in class today. Do, do you know about the white impurity? No. No, I've never heard of an impurity with that name. It's a rare impurity that spontaneously appears while classmating. When it appears, it haunts God's gift and the Star Maiden. Impurities can appear even even during sacred rituals like this? Right. It I heard it appears more often between a God's gift and a Star Maiden who have fallen in love. When haunted by the white impurity, you're unable to control your emotions. Mr. Narcissus said there was a god's gift in Star Maiden whose emotions went berserk. In their case, they abandoned their mission of enshrining star offerings and eloped. Granvanian searched for and captured them since the fate of the nation was at stake. They were placed under close surveillance until they f completed their mission. How awful! They were even watched while they were classmating since they were ru they were a runaway risk. It seems that impurity was too much to handle even for the great mage at the time. I get it. I feel sorry for them if they were being watched the whole time. Yes. Yeah, but there's more to this story. The gods' gift and star maiden haunted by the white impurity were able to give birth to more powerful star children. The irony of being haunted by an impurity but still able to create warriors to defeat them. I guess so. Greenvania took this incident to heart, and it's been talked about the Academy since. What to do now? So what does that mean for us? God's gifts and star maidens tend to show certain symptoms during the ritual. What kind of symptoms? I want to know so I want to know so I'm more aware of them. Right. Well, it makes you aroused. Huh? What? D during the ritual. <sighs> God's gift and the Star Maiden get sexually aroused. So I have to ask you, you're not showing any signs of that, are you? Hmm. The fuck do I go with this? Uh, what about you? Oh, very wrong.
Maybe a little? Yeah. Maybe a little. What? I knew it. You are a guy after all. Does that mean... This is bad. It's almost too close for comfort. Isn't it the same for all guys? I know that. I'm just saying this is a precaution. But if just one of us doesn't feel that way, it'll be fine, right? Yes. Yeah, I guess. Then it's okay, because Mahiru, you wouldn't. That's so? Unless... you do? Stop it! That's why you said we're in trouble. Let's make a star child! Mahiru, let's classmate right now. I want to make a star child. Huh? What are you saying? What are you even thinking? If we are haunted by a white impurity, we can make a powerful star child, right? Mahiru, we should turn this risk into an opportunity. You're lying. Oh, hold on! You're just hoping to get lucky because we're both aroused right now. Huh? Hmm? Was it that obvious? You jerk! I only feel aroused because I don't feel as hesitant about the ritual as before. <laughs> I'm not horny you around like you are, John. Hey. How terrible. You're not holding back on me, are you? And you should be alright, Mahiru. I don't think what you're feeling is arousal. Oh. R really? To be honest, I think you're worrying about it too much. Mahiru. You should remember this well. Feeling aroused is what I'm feeling right now. Why are you so proud of that? Maybe you're right. When I look at you, I get the feeling we'll be okay. Being less resistant to the ritual is good for the star child, too. Yeah. I know. I'll try not to worry so much anymore. Alright. Looks like the problem's solved, so let's move on with the ritual. Oh, hold on! I have to ask you something first. Haven't you been holding back on me lately? Right? You're not touching me and always look away from me. You got mad at me for doing that last time. I felt bad. That's not true. It's because I wasn't used to it yet. You'll hurt me more if you continue doing that. That's so? Really? Well? If you really want a strong star child, then you shouldn't do that. So when we do it, when we do this next time, you can try different things. Got it. R right. I got it. What? Huh? Are you doubting me? Do you think I got aroused or something? Uh... I'm gonna say no? Alright, I'll... I'll <laughs> I'm gonna try a little bit. And we'll see what happens. Probably won't end well. I'm thinking. Although when I think, does it usually matter? <laughs> All right. L let's just start. All right. How can you brush it off like that? Even if we get haunted by some impurity, I won't stop enshrining star offerings. I promised you that I'd take you back to our world, Mahiru. Mahiru. Let's take our time today, and I'll try out different things. And then we'll see if our bond will deepen, or if we'll or if we'll be controlled by the white impurity. Let's bet our fates on it. Mahiru, let's do the class mating ritual. Yes. Sure. Ah, uh, we can get a magic knight with Mahiru. That's what we'll do. Andy. Here goes! Oh, 800G. Mahiru. How do you feel, Mahiru? Really? Was it really the fault of the white impurity? Huh? Huh? Now that I think about it, a man and a woman falling in love is natural if they share the same fate and mission. 
does that mean? Even if the Star Maiden chose her lover instead of the world and eloped with him, it's questionable if they were able to continue like this without any love. <sighs> but the kingdom couldn't allow such feelings or actions from them. That's why they blamed the white impurity and hid it from history. Maybe there was no white impurity anywhere in the world. So you're saying the white impurity was created not by the ritual, but by the kingdom? Hey! John, what would you do if I said I wanted to elope with you? I'd think about it. If that's what you really wanted, Mahiru. Oh? Oh, so you will think about it. Oh. Alright, I'll save Femaruna for last. Uh, I'll just go with the standard Matryoshka. Ruka. Do you want a classmate today? Uh, oh. I don't mind, but why do you always pick me? <laughs> I don't like how you always seem to be looking down on me. Say, what criteria do you use to pick Star Maidens anyway? I wonder about that sometimes. Well, I mostly base my choices on... I don't think saying how I feel is going to make Ruka happy at all. Alright. I choose the best strategy. Strategy? You mean for exploring the labyrinths? Oh, right. Star children have different attributes depending on the star maiden you classmate with, right? Okay, I understand now. I didn't expect you to think about that stuff. Guess I was wrong. I'm sorry when I said you were looking down on me when you picked me. No. It's alright. I'm glad you understand. <laughs> so, do you want to start? If you're okay with it, I'm ready whenever. I'm always ready. I just took a shower, so there should be no problems. Granted, this isn't for you, but to make a strong star child. The textbooks say, the textbooks say you must remain clean for the ritual. I know. Is it just me, or does this place smell a bit different than usual? Huh? Oh, maybe it's my shampoo. Do you... not like this fragrance? No, I like the way it smells. Oh, that's good then. Just don't move your face so close to mine. And no smelling my hair today. Don't breathe so much, understand? Huh? That's a difficult request. The ritual is so mentally draining. I do so much for you, so I hope you do the same in return. For starters, you can stop staring. You pick up so many requirements. Huh? Do I really? I thought it was pretty standard. Then I'll allow you to look at me. Just a little. Honestly, just a little, okay? Alright. Jeez. If we go through this much and the star child isn't strong, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> Alright, wow, we really can't do much with the Ruka, can we? I mean, I can make another mage. You know what? I'll do that. Why not, right? Here goes. Are you dumb? Why are you breathing so hard? I can't help it. You told me not to breathe in your scent. Huh? You were really doing that? Sorry. If a star strong if a strong star child isn't born, it'll be my fault. I know. How about we do it one more time? I'll be you know, I'll be fine. No, no, no need. I'm sure we made a stronger star child because of it. Everything will be fine. I hope so. Um you can do whatever you want next time. What do you mean? 
about the ritual, of course. This isn't for you. It's for the star children that will be born. It really isn't for you. Anyway, I'll be going now. If you need to do the ritual again, tell me. I'm only agreeing to it because I have to. Goodbye. Alright. Now, Femiruna. Femiruna! Are you free to classmate today? No way! No, I already have other plans. Wait. Oh, are you busy then? Yes. I am always busy. Today I am going into town to do some shopping. I get it. I see. Well, I guess I'll ask another star maiden then. Just like the other time. If you plead me to if you plead to me like before, I may reconsider. Huh? Like the other time. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I was assertive. Uh, I was more assertive back then, right? But, right? That is correct. I did not want to do it, but when you asked me that way, I could not refuse. I see. Alright. In that case, I'll be more assertive when I talk- when I ask you. W wait Allow me to compose myself first. Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> Alright. I am now ready. Femiruna! Femiruna, we're classmating right now! <sighs> it- yes. Oh, fine. If we must. Wait, are you okay? Your face is all red. Untrue. It's more blue than red. Wouldn't that make it worse? Regardless, if you are forcing me to do this, at least escort me properly. Alright, let's begin then. <laughs> she, she really likes being handled roughly. Oh shit, we have a new class! Berserker! Oh shit, you guys know I gotta do a fucking Berserker. Gilbert the Berserker. Shit, Femiroon, you're giving me a Berserker. Tiring. I wanted to go shopping, but I'm far too tired for that now. Then... Can I join you on your next shopping spree? I'd like to thank you somehow for today. What? Why must I go shopping with you? <sighs> oh, I can't? I thought I could help carry whatever you buy. I'm very thankful for you, so let me show you somehow. Ah. All right. I should be more assertive here too, huh? That is impossible! Impossible! I will never be seen in town with you! Only an elegant gentleman is befitting for. Hey! Just shut up! I'm going with you! Understand? <sighs> it, yes. I understand. Why do you turn so red whenever I shout like that? I do not turn red. I think I actually turn green, you know? <laughs> That's not good. Are you really okay? Do not worry yourself. I must excuse myself now. Good day. You are only tagging along because you forced yourself. I do not look forward to it at all. <laughs> she's so looking forward to it. Oh man, she's the best. Alright, let me rest. We'll advance into... Oh, I thought there'd be some, like, event to go into the next year, but I guess not. Alright, so... Let me advance these real quick. Then, uh, probably this episode is just, like, now that I'm thinking about it, I think this episode is just going to be all the, uh, class mating events for part three. And then in the next episode, I'll start doing the, uh, you know, the normal events. That seems to be the pace that I like going at here. Ooh, shit, I'm getting a lot more fucking BP from these guys now. 
I guess it must have to have to do with your uh with your relationship level with them. Hmm. Yeah. Cause I, I I'm getting like 90 VP from hanging out with them now. That's really good. Alright, so let's start with Yuzua. Yuzuha. Have you gotten to used to the ritual, Yuzua? Uh, I could never get used to it. But... I feel like I'm even more embarrassed by it than before. I don't think I can even look at your face properly. Are you okay? Your face is bright red. Are you okay? I'm always like this. I'm not actively acknowledging your presence or anything. Okay, I lied. I didn't hear that last part. What'd you say? You don't need to. It's nothing. But I should try to keep my eyes open. Is there a good way to do that? Keeping her eyes open. That's not it. to the clothes pins, is it? No. It's the blindfold. Sure. Keep your eyes open with this blindfold. Or am I going to be wearing the blindfold? Guess it would go on me. So she could keep her eyes open. How about wearing a blindfold? That's no different than keeping them closed. Oh, but it might stave off my embarrassment. I may not be able to see anything, but at least my eyes will be open. I see. You are turning the idea on its head. Let me go find a blindfold. Oh, oh, can we use a ribbon or something? I have one here. I think a ribbon could work. Alright, let's try that. I hope it'll go well today. Say, big brother? Um, how do you do this with the other girls? Am I the worst one? Everyone's great. You said it so bluntly, but I guess you wouldn't want to rank us. In some ways, that makes me feel somewhat lonely. But I'm glad you're exactly how I thought you'd be. If you said I was the best, that would be strange, too. <laughs> you sound much more upbeat, Yuzua. Huh? That's not true. I'm the same as always, aren't I? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination. Oh, and you shouldn't say you're terrible. I don't think you are. What? Um, thank you. Was that a compliment? Oh, I better cover my eyes with the ribbon. I hope I can classmate better today. do today? I think it went smoother than before. Is it thanks to the blindfold? Even though it came off halfway through. So you were able to say? Yes. I noticed the blindfold sliding off. I saw the face you make during the ritual. 
That surprised me. I'm sorry if I was staring at you. Um, if you'd like, please invite me to do the ritual again. Good night. Alright, Colette's next. Oh, she looks upset. There's always a certain tension before performing the ritual. Oh, jeez! Just do as you wish with me. What's wrong? What's the desperation? How lewd! You should see your lewd eyes right now, John. You look like a hungry wolf with bloodshot eyes. You actually think dirty thoughts during the ritual, don't you? <laughs> huh. How do I respond to this? I notice Colette's always calling me lewd. Never thought about it. No. Maybe the ritual isn't dirty. Yep. The ritual isn't dirty. I know. I know that. Why am I so much more nervous now than before? Maybe it's because you're looking at me with those loot. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it, this word. Is, it lova is that lavacious? I don't think it is. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. My, this isn't like me at all. If I keep thinking like this, I'll just bog myself down. Let's hurry up and begin. Now then, John. Let's make it quick and fun. Let's also make it a bit bittersweet. Jeez. You sure have a ton of requests. I think showing that type of sincerity toward this is a good thing, John. Can you re can you at least reduce those to one request? Oh, fine. Um... In that case, please just be gentle. Now then, Star made me up. Star maiden you? What's that even supposed to mean? Oh, whatever. Let's just hurry up and begin. <laughs> Jeez, Colette. Like a merchant. Job. Oh, jeez. John, you don't need to breathe heavily like that. It sounds very untoward. Let's see, maybe I went a little overboard? Yep. I went a little overboard. <sighs> yes, you certainly did give it your all today. Right. Heavy breathing like after participating in a refreshing sport of sporting event. True. Yeah, I guess this is like a sport in a way. I've got it, John. For your heavy breathing, I will think of it as your exhaustion after playing a sport. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry I said it was dirty. <sighs> okay, I'm fine now. I've caught my breath. <sighs> Good to hear. You know, now I'm thirsty. Shall we get something to drink over there and head home? I'll treat you today. Is that true? You will? What brought this on? It's so you stop breathing heavily. And I know you tried to be gentle today. But if you keep it keep it up at this rate, my body won't be able to handle it. Please be careful. Alright, Faroon. Let's see what yours is gonna be like. <laughs> Hey, John. Looks like I'm getting used to the church here now. <laughs> this is like my second home, so I know my way around it. I don't know about that. <laughs> Knowing what we do here, I can't really go, on, go out and say it publicly, though. But you were enjoying that, weren't you? 
Shall we go? That's right. Yes, please. Okay, just a sec. All right. You okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's nothing like what you're thinking of. I'm just enjoying this bit of anticipation and tension, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's do this, John. I'll do my best. Hey, twins again. Jeez, so many fucking twins. Friends, kids are most said to be assumed to be monks. I have trouble finding the fucking option button on this controller. Let me try Archer. I think I can use some more of those. I don't know the stars. Wow, 20% off. Oh, hey, my pro tag status went up. Tech plus five, def plus six, speed plus five. Not bad. What's wrong? Farun. Oh, sorry. Just a sec. Yeah. I was enjoying the reverberations. The, ver the reverberations. So, what's up? No. You've changed quite a bit since I met you. Oh, have I? How so? I guess you look like you would enjoyed it. You looked like you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> you saw right through me. You're quite observant. <laughs> Man, there's so many typos in this. What are you doing, Spike Chinsoft? Yeah, I do enjoy it now. I'm not doing something I don't like. And it's with you, too. It's better to just enjoy it. Something like that. I get it. That's good to hear. <laughs> Look at you. Did I say something weird? Not at all. It's just fun for me. So what made you have a change of heart? Uh, it's kind of uh, rude to ask. Uh, it's no. fine if you don't want to say. I'm... I want to say it a little. I want you to listen. Look, when I saw you at the tavern the other day, I thought you looked kind of nice. Nice? Yeah. When you were talking about your duty, you really looked like a man. And when you said you appreciated me, I was so happy to hear it. I've always traveled around, so I've never seriously talked to anyone face to face. That's why no one's ever told me they appreciated me. And I want to hear that again sometime. Farun. <laughs> this got so serious all of a sudden. Talking to me makes me blab a bunch of stuff I shouldn't. This isn't like me. It'll make you lose your respect for Big Sis Farun. I guess it's the last time. Is it really so bad? Is that really so bad? Oh. I'm not what? sure how to answer yet. I'm not used to talking about serious stuff. It all feels weird to me. Like it's making me restless. Something like that. Do you not like it? Hmm, I guess... I guess I don't dislike it. it. Made me realize that I do think about these things. And that I have this side of me. After finding that out, now you're asking me about it. Yeah, I guess I don't dislike it. Not in the least. <laughs> it seems like you're getting ahead of me in knowing myself. My pride is the older one's getting shredded. True. There are times when I, when I don't see you as the older one. Oh, come on. At least be a little considerate. <laughs> Who cares, right, big sis Farun? Don't tease me, jerk. Jeez. I'll get going now. To the tavern? No. No, the academy. I was thinking of making some friends. Either way, I have to stay here for a while. I may as well get rooted here by interacting with more people. Is that not like me to do so? That's not true. No way. You do you. 
<laughs> Thanks. Well, I'll be going now. Faroon. Faroon. Thanks for today. Don't say that all of a sudden. It's embarrassing. Well, I hope you invite me again. I'll come flying whenever I can. Well, good luck to you. See you later. Alright, Sue. You want me? John, you want to do it with me? Right. The classmate in ritual, right? Yeah. Yeah. I want a classmate with you, too. I don't understand that feeling I had. I want to understand what exactly the classmating ritual is by doing it with you. Right. When we classmate. Yeah, it's the nostalgic thing, right? It makes... It feels nostalgic when we classmate. Yeah. My heart feels all warm. I don't know how or why I feel nostalgic about it. Which is why I want to continue classmating until I understand. That's not it. I'm the one who should be asking you to participate. But thank you, Sue. John, let's do it. I want to experience that feeling again. Will you let me know what it's like? Right. Alright. Twins, holy shit. Oh shit, Hunter. Eh, I'll make a paladin too. Hello? Hey, mood up. Something I need, but okay. Sue, Sue, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm. Tr I was trying to figure out what that, out that feeling. Why is it? It feels warm deep inside my heart. Class meeting with you is so mysterious. What about you? How do you feel when you're class meeting with me? I don't really know myself, but it's probably not the same sensation. So it's just me. I wonder why I feel this way. Let's think about it together. Two heads are better than one, right? Yeah. I feel so warm inside when I do the class mating ritual with you. But that's not all. Beyond that warm feeling, it kind of hurts. It's warm but prickly. I don't know why that is. If you had to describe in more relatable terms, what would it be like? Relatable? It's like sleeping in the animal hut. The animal hut? That's still difficult, but... Is that why you feel nostalgic about it? Yep. But beyond that, my heart feels prickly. Maybe you feel nostalgic because of something that happened in the past. Like you're feeling something special through the ritual. Is it a memory of your family, perhaps? What's wrong? What's the matter, Sue? No, it's nothing. I'm fine. You don't seem fine. Did I say something bad? No, you didn't. I just... finally understand. Did you think of something, Sue? You know, I don't actually know all that much about your family. Did something happen between them? My heart feels prickly. It hurts. I can't do this. I'm sorry, John. I need to go home. Sue. It's not your fault, John. I just get like this when I think of Papa and Mama. Bye for today. I think I'll be fine after a little rest. I'll be better once I sleep with my animals. I'll be going home for now. Bye, John. What? Sue, what happened with you and your family? I 
really interested to know. What exactly happened between her and her parents? Is it why she's so... Why she can only feel at peace? Why she doesn't feel at ease with other people? Why she can only feel that way with her animals? It probably is. Alright, got two more. forgot where I had to go for a second there. Alright, so let's go with the regular Matryoshka. Oh, Lily! I think this is the first time I've actually done this with Lily, isn't it? Hey, John. Huh? Oh, are you doing the ritual today, Lily? I don't have time for what, you. you got a problem with me? Obvious answer is... Not at all. That's not true. <laughs> I'm sexier than she is, that's for sure. If you want to have fun with the ritual, you'll do it with me, right? I don't know what you're getting at. I said I'll make you have some fun, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just get this over with already. Let's go. You better not complain no matter what I do to you. Help. <laughs> oh shit, a blacksmith! Yo, we're getting some real good fucking classes now. Blacksmith boys. Phil. Oh, so depending on which one you get too, nice the to the grad the gradation in the uh, in the hair changes. So when you have Lily, it's pink going into blue. We have Lilith, it's blue going into pink. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Is that what you do each for each ritual? You pervert! You're not a god's gift. You're a pervert's gift. Lily, you've got it all wrong. The ritual is sacred. Liar. You got this lewd face all- this lewd look all over your face. Whatever. If you're done, I'm leaving. See you later. Lily. Wait, Lily. Let's talk a little more. What, are you gonna lecture me about my pranks again? I won't listen to you. Your lectures make me sick. That's not it. That's not it. I just want to know more about you, Lily. What? That's the first time anyone said that to me. What are you plotting? You must have some ulterior motive if you want to get closer to me. Oh, that's right. You have the ritual and stuff. Are you trying to get all chummy with me to deepen that bond or whatever? You God's gifts have tons to do, don't you? You have my condolences- She just fucking keck at me. Lily, you're not as bad a person as you make yourself out to be. You have plenty of good points. Huh? Don't be stupid, I won't fall for that. Just try naming some good points of mine or whatever. That's right. Well? You're surprisingly kind. That's not true. You're just lying to me to get me to like you. Lilith told me that you caught the cat she wanted as a pet. I didn't do it for her. It had an annoying face. I caught it and brought it home so I could bully it later. It just happened to be the cat she wanted. That's all. That's a pretty big coincidence. Shut up, shut up, shut up! That's not all. The best part about you is how much you care about Lilith. What are you talking about? You got so mad when Lilith cried the other day. It didn't seem like you were worried about your body to me. Of 
course I get mad. We've been together since we were born. She's important to me. Not just because we share the same body. What's with that grin? Don't look at me all sentimental like that. <laughs> I'm just glad I could hear you say that, Lily. I do want us to be closer. Is that really too much to ask? It's not, but... All right. Then I hope we'll continue to get along. I know. Let's shake hands. You better not have gum on it. I'm not like you, Lily. Fine. If you so insist. What happened? You look a little embarrassed. Shut up. So what if I am? It's the first time anyone said to my face that they wanted to get closer with me. Jeez, I don't get you. Whatever, I'm going now. See you. Alright, see you later. Yeah. Pisses me off. He's so weird. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. Alright, now Tara. Do you want to do the class mini ritual with me, John? Thanks. Yeah, are you free? Yeah! Yep! Um... I also wanted to tell you something, John. Do you remember what I said I wanted to do for you? Uh... Do you mean... Yeah, to thank me, I think she was trying to think of something. Do you want to thank me? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Why do you look so embarrassed? That's because... Uh... It's not that I'm embarrassed. It's more like... It's nothing. Anyway, I'm glad you remembered. If you forgot, I would have been upset. I already thought of how, do I, how I'd thank you. I thought you'd like this. I see. You didn't have to. Boss always tells me to thank everyone who helps me. Otherwise, it wouldn't, be right, it wouldn't feel right for me either. Right. Alright then. If you insist, it'll be rude of me not to accept. So, what is it? Uh, well, it's kind of embarrassing, so can you turn around? Um, I need to get ready for it. That's why... Can it be after we classmate? Right. I don't mind. <laughs> You're so nice to me during the ritual, so I'm not nervous anymore. Anyway, let's classmate. Hey, Tara, don't run. Hey, a Lancer. Lancer it is. <laughs> Will. Nice to meet you. Oh, he looks like Shinji. Oh no. He looks like Shinjiro. Hey, and I got stats. Defense, speed, and luck. John, are you ready? Are you okay? Ready when you are. I'm still a little nervous. What? So how are you thanking me? Don't ask. Just watch closely. Look at me, okay? Sure. Mm. All done. Huh? What was that? Um, it was my thanks to you. Uh, was I got not good enough? Or did you think I wasn't thanking you? The books I read said men like these kinds of things done to them. Jeez. What books were you reading? Uh, I guess I'm missing sex appeal. Oh, if this doesn't work, I only have one choice left. It's not that it didn't work. I'm just confused. Ah, uh, no. Now, close your eyes, John. I thought of something else. I'll do that. Just what are you trying to do? It's my thanks to you. It might not work because I have no sex appeal. But just close your eyes, hurry. Hey, Tara. Close them. Close them now. Fine. Fine, fine. Are your eyes closed? Yeah, I can't see anything. All right, here goes. Oh, this is making me nervous. I'm more nervous than my classmate, but I have to thank you properly. Keep your eyes closed, John. 
Here goes. Slowly, slowly. What the? Uh, all done. Um, I asked Rione what men like, so I thought maybe a smooch on the cheek would be nice. I like being patted on the head more than being smooched. But what do you think, John? Was that enough thanks for you? Did you like it? I liked it. Hello! Really? You liked it? You really did? Uh, I thought you wouldn't because I look like this. Because I don't have whatever sex appeal is. No, I heard your feelings loud and clear. Tara, thank you. Uh, I should be thanking you for finding that letter, John. <laughs> you really liked it. Getting so worked up over it was worth it in the end. But it's so weird. I never knew I'd get this nervous giving you a smooch. It's kind—it's a different kind of nervousness, though. My heart feels all prickly. When you stare at me like that, I get a little uneasy. Wait, are you okay, Tara? I don't know. I just wanted to say thank you. I'll keep trying hard during the class meeting ritual. Let's do it tons of times, John. I want to pay you back somehow. Thanks. Don't worry about that. But I will ask you to classmate again, Tara. Ah, uh, you got it. I'll try to learn more w more ways to thank you. There must be tons of stuff you like besides smooching. I'll do my best to learn. See you later, John. <laughs> Tara. She's such a sweetheart. I'm really getting to like her. Alright, I'll end things off here in the next episode. We'll start with the rank 3 events. Yay. I'll see you guys then. Bye.